How y'all been, man? Believe it or not, this is like my second time trying to record this. I recorded it yesterday, went through the whole thing, but I, I just rushed through it. But now I can sit here, take my time, because I don't have to pick up my daughter from school like I did yesterday. But let's talk about this Mike series, y'all. So first, I wouldn't be making this, because since Mike didn't really give this series his blessing. I have nothing to do with it. They never offered me any money. They never um, came to me that offered me anything to be involved with the movie. And they just stole my story and, let, and ran. I wasn't going to make this video at first, but I watched the whole series just to get, you know, I, I went into the series open-minded like I do everything. And I said, if they give us like some good takeaways with the, with the series, I'm going to talk about it. Originally, I was going to get on here and tell y'all about the other stuff that Mike kind of did co-sign, like the, the uh, 1995 film Tyson, the documentary he did himself just talking to the camera, Tyson he did back in 08, and his Broadway show, um, 2000, he did, I think he did in 2013. Hold on, I got notes, y'all. Uh, yeah, he did Undisputed Truth in 2013. So all of that I watched because before this series, I wasn't really interested in, in Mike Tyson. I think that's the good thing about this series. Like something good about it. Of course, you know, Mike Tyson said they're stealing money from him and everything. But I think it's good that we, it, it put the spotlight back on him for a moment. Cause the only thing I, I knew about when it comes to Mike Tyson was of course, the air bite with Holyfield and the tattoo and like the hangover movie. But that's like the gist of my knowledge when it comes to Mike Tyson. But when the series came out, it made me interested. I was like, why, why, why do they want to just keep revisiting the Mike, Mike Tyson story? So I, I looked into it, and now, and now I see exactly why they want to be revisiting the Mike Tyson story. But if you didn't know, this series is pretty much a lot of imagination. The undisputed truth Broadway show that Mike Tyson did himself. That's why. It starts with him like talking on stage and all that and the actual events that we know about like the stuff happening in the media like the fights of course the you know backlash whatever you want to call it with his divorce with the court trial we see Mike from kid Mike young Mike and then finally the old Mike it's, it's what like eight episodes majority of the time like we want to see Kid Mike mostly in this episode one, and then majority of, of the series is, is young Mike. So Mike in his 20s, Mike when he's he's the Iron Mike. One thing they pointed out that I love about this series, they didn't really focus that much on like the ring stuff, like the, the boxing stuff. It was mostly about his personal life, his love life, his mistakes and everything, you know, on the business side that he, that he made. In this series, it really points out that when it comes to like the young Mike, he had more like a like a lifestyle of like a, a, a rich celebrities kid or something like that. Cause he pretty much got a lot of money in a short amount of time and he didn't know what to do with it. And people let him the wrong way. Like um, Don King, Cuss, uh, we're gonna talk about Cuss a little bit later when we, when we get down to the old Mike. But with the young Mike, we had Don King, he had Robin Givens. Like we seen like all his flaws, well I wouldn't say flaws, but all his bad decisions play out in this, this series. Before we jump into like the old Mike, like the later part of the series, we do have to talk about episode five, just a little bit. I made a separate video talking about it. That video was, <laughs> it was, it was hard to make. Like I was, a, I was terrified to make that video because it's, 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 it's me telling my point of view, and I think my point of view isn't like the most popular point of view. Like in that video, it's mostly, it's mostly saying people are saying it's either Mike is the the R word, a monster, he's violent, or they said Desiree Washington was a liar, she's a gold digger, she's just like um, Robin Givens. But I will say. That video, that episode, that episode was hard to watch at first. Like I said in that video, the separate video I did on the review, 
I was upset. I was like, oh, they're trying to meet too Mike Tyson and stuff like that. Then I sat with a little bit and I was like, well, hearing like everything I watched, because I watched a lot of interviews and stuff like that, Mike Tyson wasn't a good person back then. He said to himself, he mistreated a lot of women. He said this himself. So I was like, well, I can't argue with the man himself. He was a bad person. So I see where, where they're coming from. I like strong women, not necessarily a masculine woman, but I like strong women. I like a strong, I like a, say a woman that runs a CEO corporation. I like a strong woman with confidence, massive confidence, and then I want to dominate her sexually. That's what I want. I want to ravish them completely. And then when I sat with it a little bit longer, I just recently came to like the conclusion that this series, because all they did with episode five is take the court statement of Miss Washington. At, uh, she probably changed the name by now, her last name. But at the time, they took the, uh, the court statement of Miss Washington and made an episode based on that. So it was just word for word what she said in court. My last takeaway I got from this episode is like it kind of brings you to the realization that what he was actually found guilty for in court was the most horrible thing that you can think of. Because I think a lot of us, we look past like the facts and like the details of it. Of course, you know, like I, like I said in, in my, my episode five review, I think it went the wrong way because I said he's right in a way, but I was just saying he's, he, when I said that, I feel like, even saying that out loud in this video, I feel like some people just clipped off. But what I was saying was, when he said, I'm not a rapist or I'm, I didn't rape her, I feel like he's telling his truth. What I think did happen was he was a violent person and he he did something he shouldn't, shouldn't have done to Desiree Washington, and she took that as rape. So that's it's 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 it's, it's hard to kind of it's, it's a sensitive topic. So I'm just I'm just gonna drop it there. But if you get what I'm saying, I appreciate you because I'm not saying what my what my Tyson did at all was right. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that he's just Mike Tyson. I don't want to bash his name or make fun of him, but he's just I'm just gonna say that he's just Mike Tyson. So. He doesn't think like all of us. So in Mike Tyson's head, he was just doing what he did to other women in the past. It was just like one finally just said something about it. And the last thing I say about Young Mike is the actor that played Mike Tyson in the series, to me, he looked the most like Mike Tyson when he was like, you know, the the uh, box mustache and beard Mike Tyson. I don't know if, if that's because like that's around that's closest to his real age because when he played like the younger Mike it didn't really feel like Mike Tyson to me but when he played that box mustache and uh goatee Mike I was like yeah that yeah now now I'm getting more Mike all right get to the old Mike that he looks <laughs> completely nothing nothing like again I think that's just an age difference but the old Mike like I said with young Mike we got a lot of, of his bad decisions with the old Mike, we got a lot of his battles with demons. And this is what I related most when it comes to the series, because he had, of course, women, he had drugs, he had this like ego cuss gave him. So he had money issues from like all the bad habits he did when he was younger, and now he has money issues, trust, trust issues, like his world just, just seemed to be like being destroyed in front of us. There's a quote that came to mind like while I was watching this that kind of summarized like the, the, the later part of the series. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he does not exist. I say that reminds me of this series, the later part of the series, cause that therapy scene was my favorite scene in the series. Out of everything, the film, the documentary, the, the Broadway show, all of that never put the spotlight on Cuss like this series did. It was like a quick scene, so I think it just, it. I don't think we get, had time to sit with it. But when the therapist said like, she basically blamed Cuss for his the way he is. She blamed Cuss for Mike Tyson's violent and lavish lifestyle. 
Cuz actually told Mike Tyson, you're a monster. You're a guy. Stuff like that. And it gave Mike Tyson confidence, gave him the confidence, uh, confidence, I'm talking like him now. It gave him the confidence to be like one of the greatest boxers that we ever had. But it didn't, it didn't fit in like his personal life. I think he tried to take that ego, that boxing ego, that Iron Mike ego outside of the ring. And, and this is where all the issues start to come. So older Mike, we seeing all this, the backlash from Cuss and his bad decisions. And unfortunately he started going to drugs, but fortunately he had a real, a real, real, real woman behind him. That scene where she basically told him like, you know, your kids are waiting for you. We're all you got, Mike, your family needs you. And then he said, that's, that's the last time that I ever did drugs. To me, that was, ah, that was so powerful. That was, that was so powerful. Like I, that saying that, that was a good takeaway. Cause that I could take that. I think any man can watch that and apply it to his own family. I'm, I'm, I'm a father, I'm a husband. So saying that it hit different, it hit different from, for me having my own family and, and having to depend on my own wife like uh, Mike Tyson depended on his wife. So that's a great takeaway. I'm not gonna say much about that because I think you know y'all need to go sit on that for a little bit. But what I will talk about to end this, this video is the therapy. I said, you know, the therapist brought up cuss, but something else it did was point out the importance of therapy. Up to that point, kid Mike, young Mike, <laughs> box goatee Mike, I don't know what you wanna call him, I don't know, middle aged Mike, I don't know. but. Up to the point where we had old Mike, like the current Mike, it's, it, it, it pointed out that he never thought about therapy. He had all the money to do it, all the resources to get therapy, but he didn't think about it until he was older. And as soon as he started therapy, that's when he started to change. I think with us, with us, I think in our head, well, first is the money and resources. All of us don't have the money and resources to get therapy, but we have insurance and stuff like this to get therapy, y'all. So if we have the resources to get it, we don't get it. I think the second thing stopping us from getting it, and I'm saying this because I went through therapy and I was the same way. I was like, I don't need it. I don't need nobody telling me like how to live my life and stuff like that. But I did therapy for like two years, y'all. And I, I'm like an expert at communication with my wife now. But anyway, <laughs> the, second, the second thing is it's just our ego. It's just our ego. Like I said, myself, I was like, you know, I don't need therapy. Like, you know, it's just somebody reading a book telling me how to live my life. But nah, nah, nah. Therapy, y'all, it's just somebody that watched other people, like a, a countless of other people in same scenarios as you. And this gives them the tools to tell you exactly what you need to hear. So they're not trying to say, okay, I'm going to tell you how to live, live your life. They're just saying, well, I've seen somebody else, you know, make mistakes, make the same mistakes that you're about to make. But so maybe you should like try this. Maybe you should try it in a different way. So I like coming, coming back to the series. I like that this series put a little spotlight on therapy. I may do a whole separate video on that. I don't know. Cause I think I said everything I had to say about it just now, but fighting with demons, therapy, and putting the spotlight on Cuss. To me, this made this series better than what we had before. Cause what we had before with the movies, the documentary, the Broadway show, it all had a sad ending. Mike Tyson's story, it is a sad story, but when it comes to movies and series, it's like it should be a something we can take away from it. I just felt like watching those other three before the series I just felt like I just watched a man, like I actually cried after watching a Broadway show. I just felt sad. Like I just felt sad for Mike Tyson. Maybe that's, that was the point of what we had before to make Mike Tyson seem more, not more relatable, but more like make us feel sorry for him, not hate him more or judge him. Just make, make us feel sorry for him. But this right here, it made Mike Tyson more relatable and it showed us a lot of teachable moments but yeah i think i said all i had to say y'all 
I always say at the end of the video, like, you know, leave your comments if you want to join the conversation. I think I'm going to stop saying that because I, I think that's just, you know, a YouTube habit. But I really I really do want to talk to y'all about the series, but I feel like if y'all really wanted to comment, y'all do it without me having to ask, right? All right, so I'm going to stop saying that. This is the last video I'm going to say that. But all I have to say is I appreciate you. If you watch up to this point, because I, I did a lot of research on Mike Tyson. I, I watched so much of this man. I started like doing his mannerisms and stuff like that when I talked to my wife. So I was like, okay, I got to put all this on, on the video. And I did, all right? Appreciate you for sticking with me.